What's up, everybody? Frozen Titan here, back again, playing some Wild Hearthstone. And today, yeah, you might already see it. It's going to be a, a bit of a special, um, you know, Wild Hearthstone video. Hit Legend for the first time. Uh, feeling super happy about it. And just wanted to kind of do a quick video on it. Um, ended up hitting it with the, the Mechathune Warlock that we previously did a video on. Uh, I'll go ahead and link that in the description for you know, a more kind of in-depth analysis on it. But, uh, yeah, just kind of wanted to go through an another game with there, you know, show off uh, some video proof that I, I have at Legend. So, you know, pretty great. Oh, got a lo uh, Lord Draxxus off it, too. Um, but, yeah, the first time I've ever hit it, um, I've come close before in, in Standard. I've gotten to uh, what used to be, like, the old Rank 1. Um, not, not, like, Legend Rank 1, but, um, you know, like, the level Rank 1. And recently, I've come within a couple stars of it in Wild this month. So, um, yeah, I was finally able to make kind of the last push. And this was the main deck I made, you know, really the final push with. Oh, that's interesting. He's in Diamond 8? Weird. Okay. Maybe, maybe my, uh, my MMR is a little off. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so it was, it was this deck. It was the Pirate Warrior. It was the, the odd Demon Hunter. Sometimes the, the Pirate Rogue. But I, I would say those are their main three that really were able to propel me through the meta um, in the month of May. So definitely will include all three deck codes in the description below. Do think that these decks, um, you know, they have their quirks. This deck especially can be very hard to pilot. Uh, we went into a lot of the synergies, the do's and don'ts in the last video. Uh, I'll probably touch on a few of them in this video as well. But if, if you want to kind of hit the um, the skill floor of, of the deck, so to speak, that's a good one to check out to better understand it. Um, we do draw the Hemet, so basically we're just looking for our plot twist to uh, round out our combo here. Okay, he does get the Potion of Madness off. I've yet to see kind of what he's playing, um, but Razakis Priest is, is pretty much the standard Priest these days. Alright, get down the Loot Hoarder and the Life Tap. Nice, got the Librarian. Um, so yeah, in this video, if, if uh, the, this game wraps up in kind of a reasonable time, we'll probably go through one game of a Pirate Warrior. Just kind of showing off the... Um, the decks that really got me here, um, which maybe you guys are, are interested in. Um, let's trade in first. All right, then we get the Mistress of Mixtures. Nice, so we have the Plot Twist and the Hemet, basically the two uh, mandatory cards in hand in order to be able to play uh, Hemet. And then we have the kind of easy combo with the coin, so we'll be able to um, perform this here pretty soon. Alright, let's get down the Hemet. Yeah, we are kind of lacking on the, the Solarium here. So we, we do uh, maybe have to watch out for, for the combo here. Okay, it's Evargoth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, it hit the same minion twice. Okay, well, he conceded. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and show off one game of the Pirate Warrior as well. Um, I'd say that was kind of the, the second deck that, that really got me there. So already kind of ranking up a little bit. Uh, feels a little little surreal still to to hit, have hit legend. So um, yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying the guides and, and everything we've been doing. And uh, yeah, it just goes to show that um, these decks can really help you to to climb the ladder wherever you feel stuck. Um, and yeah, I I think these decks are pretty prominent in the meta, so I'm, I'm sure you've seen them before. But um, yeah, pretty pretty straightforward decks to to help get you through. All right. Let's go ahead and full mulligan away here. Uh, it is a little tempting to sometimes hold on to the sky barge, but don't think we will this time. 
Um, we have a pretty good South Sea deck hand on turn one into the shark fin fan. Uh, and then we have Sir Finley to kind of, you know, help um, even out our mana curve or get rid of that bad hero power that um, doesn't really synergize well with the Pirate Warrior. Right, let's get out the deck hand. Let's see what kind of warrior this is. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> see what kind of rogue this is. <laughs> a little frazzled, I guess. Okay, death rattle rogue. Seems like. Let's get out the Sir Finley here. Dig for a nice, nice hero power. We do find the demon claws, which is pretty fantastic. Um, we don't actually need to equip the upgrade here to proc the shark fin fan now, so we're gonna go ahead and hold off on on the the upgrade weapon so that we can hopefully get that off on Ankar. Um, yeah, pretty much holding out until we can get the, the Corsair Cache drawn from the deck. Alright, let's get the Sharkfin fan out. Uh, I do want to take care of uh, the Secret Legendary here, the Shadow Jeweler Hanar, as, as quickly as possible. Don't want him to get off some of those kind of insane secret turns that are, are possible. So, looks like he's either playing um, the... Uh, Highlander version of this deck, or just a kind of a Galakron version of this deck, more than likely. Uh, if he wants to play the secret, he'd pick a Paladin one. Um, yep. Uh, okay. Interesting trade there. Let's go ahead and attack in. Let's take Finley to face. Okay, so nothing that's kind of procable yet. Um, let's get down the captain. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what he would have picked here. So, you know, maybe he picked some draw ones. Maybe he picked the Hidden Wisdom. Um, yeah, and then it must be Dirty Tricks. So, double draw, more than likely. Is, is what he picked there. All right, get down the Sky Raider. Wow, okay. Yep, so we'll give him the draw. All right, getting him pretty chunked down there. So we just gotta hope that he doesn't play a really good death rattle here. Um, trying to think of, of what he would play that would really punish us. I know he has the poisonous death rattle. That's that's pretty well popular. Um, yeah, and then we learned that this was not uh, hidden wisdom. So maybe a competitive spirit. He thought he'd get a wide board or an avenge um, to buff up a singular minion. Seems like kind of a strange choice, but you know, obviously the choices are, are pretty limited once you get a, ran a random secret, so. Okay, he's kind of just roping us out here, I think. Don't know if he's left the game or, or what he's been doing. Kind of feels like he just left the game. <laughs> a nice force quit. Um, I think that's usually what makes it behave this way. Never actually uh, done a force quit before. I've always been nice enough to concede. Never uh, alt F4 or bottom right quit. Um, but yeah, we see the rope here. Pretty well indicates that, um, yeah, he's just closed out of the game. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and take our, our victory next turn. Come on. I swear the rope always always takes longer than you think it does. Uh, okay, we get the Ankara there. So we'll go ahead and equip that just for any extra damage. Cool. And that's exactly lethal. So we found it. Um, yeah, was kind of able to show off the two decks that really got me here in, in the Pirate Warrior. 
uh, as well as the Mechathune Warlock. We'll include um, links to those dex codes in the description below. Um, I'm still actually kind of working on tweaking my Demon Hunter one, so I, I won't, you know, probably include that one after the recent nerfs. Uh, but we'll include those two. Just kind of a, a quick video I wanted to show off. Show, yeah, kind of show off. A little humble brag. Um, just show off there that I, I hit Legend for the first time and, and feeling pretty good, feeling pretty proud of it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos. Uh, if you have any decks you'd like to see featured in a future video, please leave it in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please like or subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all next time.